Welcome to the Commodity Classic 2014 here in San Antonio, Texas. It's been a busy one as over 7,300 farmers have chosen to attend. And what's interesting is that most of these people are really farm family businesses. They raise corn, soybean, wheat, and sorghum, not just to feed the nation, but also to feed the world. But today I want you to meet one of my sisters in agriculture, Judy Hussey. And tell me a little bit, Judy, about where you're from and about your farming operation. We live in central Indiana, about 45 miles north of Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. it, we raise corn and soybeans, and it's just John and I. Right, and, and you have other children, and they're involved in other uh, aspects of different businesses at yes. this time. That's yes. right. Now, Judy, this is not the first time we've met, right? No, we go back a long time. <laughs> in our youth. Yes. But what I do know is last year, Judy attended the Commodity Classic, and I did a session called the Balancing Act. One little point of that session was the need to get some details written down for those left behind, to not just give you peace of mind, but also to give some direction to those others. And you took this really as a call to action. Tell me what happened. On the way home, well, basically, when we walked out of the room, John, my husband, said, we need to do some of this. We have none of this down. So we discussed it all the way home, and <laughs> that's when it started. Yeah, that was like a kick in the butt. Let's go do yes, something, right? Yes, exactly. So, so what types of things were you writing down, and in what form did you put it? We started out making notes mm -hmm. as to, okay, well, if something happened to John and I today, what would the kids know? Ooh. Would they know the, our insurance people? Would they know our banker, which they would know that, but just details like that mm -hmm. that you assume they would know, but we got to thinking, chances are most of the questions we were asking each other, our children would not know. Well, and those details left behind are, you know, who's the plumber, who's the electrician, if the well goes out, who do I call, what are the passwords to my account? There are so, so many details. And what did this format end up in? What did you, how did, what did, how did you write it down and present it? Okay, we decided, mainly my husband decided. I'm kind of a do-it-tomorrow person. <laughs> but, so he got to putting everything together and we made a notebook for each one of our children. Yeah, and then you got them together, is that right? Yes, and then we had a meeting with just the our children and their spouses. The grandchildren are all uh, pretty much grown, but in high school and college. So we sent them to a cabin mm -hmm. that we had rented, and we met and went over all this stuff together. Wow, that's something, first of all, that you acknowledge. It's not just enough for us to know it, but the information needs to be shared. Yes. And now, if I understand that, after you went through that, your daughter and son-in-law went home, but your son-in-law had a comment. What did he share? He said, he told my daughter, he said, why are they doing this yeah. now? He said, they're both in good health. Why do we have to do this now? And then his wake-up call came. What happened? Just a few months later, he got a call that his father had leukemia and it's not well, and then he went home, or he, after the call, he hung up and he said, now I get it. Now I get it. It can happen any time. And, and there is no order, but there is sure a mess if we don't take care of things right. right now. So if any of you are interested to know what those details for those left behind might look like, you can send me an email, jolene at jolenebrown.com, and I'll send you two pages, and it has a list of a lot of things we need to have recorded. So I don't just do this for you and me. I do this because we all deserve some peace of mind for ourselves and for those left behind. Thank you so much, Judy. Thank you. It's good seeing you again. Yes.